Hello everybody. This is just a little update on my 76 with the straight six. Uh, as you can see, I pulled the, um, well what I did is I pulled the motor out and repainted everything. Um, repainted some of it I should say. Like this uh, air cleaner is actually the original paint on it. Well, not all of it's not the original paint. Um, some of it right here I had to repaint. I kind of tried to, I just blended it in. Most, some of it underneath, more more so underneath. You know, you can still see it's got the, still got the original tag. It's still on there. I left it on there. This tag here, I called up um, Fusic to see if they made one because I got, I had gotten it for my other one and they don't make that for the straight six. Uh, original alternator, had that rebuilt. You can see down there, still got the chalk line on it. And what I did was I, I taped it off, or crayon mark, I taped it off when I pulled the motor and everything and re redid it. Um, you know, I just masked it off and everything. And then I have the uh, ordered the crayon, uh, crayon, I guess you'd call it. And I found like these markings. I see when I cleaned this up, I seen the markings on, a little bit of markings I made. There you got this one here. I just had a mess around. I couldn't get that. Um, but like that one there, I found. And then there's another one down there. Um, what I uh, actually what I did to get those markings to look close to what they were, um, color wise, yeah, I got I, not dead balls on. I guess you could say. But all I did was um, I'm gonna grab one and I'll show you. Doesn't matter. Well, find I guess the right size. What I did was I used a socket. I took a socket with a rag. I put a, a rag over it. Sprayed white paint on the rag side, obviously, on the rag. Put the socket through like that, and just pushed on there, pulled away, and made that. And then to get the ring one, I used this side. Same thing. Got the color. Put it on there. Done. I mean, it makes it look, it looks good like that, you know, you know, it's not exact, I'm sure, but other than that, everything's done. I mean, I redid that, you know, took everything, sandblasted everything, you can see it, you know, I had sandblasted, well, almost everything on it and the mounts and everything, painted them with close colors um, to what they were. Uh... You know, everything, you know, what's supposed to be gloss, what's supposed to be satin, etc., etc. Um, all this here, I redid. I did this part. You know, even the clamps. These are, these are the original clamps. You can see the color better that way. Um, I should see it better without this light. All the, it's all the original clamps. I mean, here, I even sandblasted these. You know, I took the clamps, sandblasted them. You know, all of them, and then I clear coated them so they don't rust up. Uh, and as you see, again, you can see all the original vacuum hose right here. Original, it's original hose right here. Another one, original hose. Let's see if I can see. Uh, you can't see it on that one. This one here, they're all every hose is original. And this, remember, I was saying about this wire that I could see that somebody had uh, pieced together. Well. I went digging through my pile. I found it, and uh, I had to re I remade it. And uh, now I got to redo this one. This one here. This one right here. I got to find a clip. The clip uh, was a little dried out. It's 40 AC. Um, runs over, plugs into your the idle for the AC. Kick the uh, idle up a little bit when you turn the AC on. Uh, you know the wires. I have to. Um, so I'm not worried about the little bit of paint, paint on them, because I'm, I'm trying to find the original, all black. I want the original all black ones. Um, let's see. Everything is, everything's done. I mean, it, it's you know you got your fuel line, all that, everything, all with the clamps. You see down in there. I redid all that. Um. 
you know, cleaned everything up back here. Tried to blend it as much as I could. Uh, redid the fan, you know, all that. Everything has been redone. It's belts, you know, everything's the original shit on it. So, I mean, that's pretty much what I've done so far. I mean, I've been working on other cars and stuff like that, so I really had too much time. Uh, and let's see, um, I mean, again, it's, like I said, this thing is so original. It's unbelievable how original this car is. So, I want to keep all that, you know, that look. I know it's only a straight six, but and all that, I know. But, uh, I just think it's cool. I mean, I got my other one here that's uh, got the 455 in it. So, and, uh, you know, I just did everything I could with it to make it look nice and pretty again as much as I could. You know, I mean, it's got to get, I still got to get it painted. You know, got to get it painted. It was, uh, this side I had changed this door. It was a real good door when I had the parts door, I guess you could call it. It was in real good shape. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it on the way underneath. It's real solid. You know, it's starting to get a little surface where I had a fucking thing outside for a couple, I don't know, a month or two, maybe even longer. It's starting to get a little bit of surface rest right there. I'll have to fucking clean that up. But it'll get down. I probably tell them to do that when they do the body work, or I'm sorry, when they paint it, and uh, you know, and um, put my little my little things back on my sides, my uh, what are they called? Um, you know, Lord, bumper fillers, fender extensions, put them all on. You know, everything works. Like I'll even show you, even the. Under the hood light work. You see all the lights in here work. Oh, not that one. Huh? Them all work. Them fucking work. Son of a bitch. Eh, let's look at that. Um, okay. No biggie. But, you know, even the outside under the hood light works. See? <laughs> Plenty of shit. Trunk one. You don't need the lights on for that. Trunk one works. They fucking locked it. Yeah. Well, chunk one works. There you are. You know, the second thing is it's so clean. Um, like I said, I did replace the bumper on it because it was pretty bad. I actually got lucky when I found that bumper. You know, see, the light works. I just think that's cool that that light works. That's the color it's gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the original color. I don't know if I could get a good uh. It's a really nice color, I think it's, I just, I think it's really, I mean, I'm not a big on green, but it's really a good looking color. So, you know, and then you guys all seen the interior and everything. It, uh, you know, it's been sitting, uh, it's been sitting here. Gosh, you know what, just to show you this, I don't even know how many times I'm about to pump it. I, I'm assuming a couple times, at least a couple. If, uh, here we go, you know, you see, it's only, what, 60, 62 degrees, 62 degrees, because dead cold, you know, not dead cold, but, yeah, that makes it 60, 60 degrees, you know, it's about 60 degrees in here, 60, 65. So, the car's dead cold, you know, dead cold. Give it a uh, start. And, uh, let's see. See how many times I have to pump it? I'm going to start with two pumps. I'll give it two more. There you go. Look at that. And this car, it'll start up, idle kicks down, everything. You know, choke works, everything, no problems. Give it a little. There you go. Idle kicking down. This thing just. Yep, oh, it might die out now. Nope. 
Nope, she's holding. Nope, she's holding. It's fucking, look how clean this car is. Oh god, this thing's amazing. But yeah, it, it's really nice. It's, you know, like I said, I haven't really had to do much to the car. I haven't had time to do anything that, you know, to it really, either. I take these vents, I like, to, I turn them around, you know, because the car's sitting. It's, they're supposed to be facing this way. But a lot of times, when they're facing outward, when they're facing outward, I mean, this, I, if you have it outside a lot, um, or in the sun, in the heat, they, uh, that chrome gets really bad, really bad. In fact, I even have here, this would be like a perfect example of what can happen to that chrome. If you can see that, that, that thing won't even move. You know, chrome is really shitty. You know, but I need, it, I need this piece for that one. So, um, but yeah, I mean that, uh, I did do the, uh, I did do the rear end, that I probably need a light for, the light's still on at least, I did do the rear end, you know, um, well, it's actually the rear end from that one, and it's a, uh, 241 Posi, I don't know why I put it in there, Posi, you know, it's not like the car's actually gonna really use it, you know, ain't gonna be able to do anything with it. We're lucky to fucking break one tire loose. Um, you know, everything's good. Nice and clean. Just on that, and then I gotta clean up the rest of the undercarriage. But I just, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update, uh, on the car. And, so you see, a little bit of, a little bit of work that's going into it. You know, a little here and there, and now I gotta save up the money. Once I get everything done, I have it painted. I gotta get it painted. And... And that's it. But I guess I, you know, I just figured I'd come give you guys a quick little update on everything. So you see the little progress of it. I mean, the main thing is the only thing I really did was the uh, in the compartment and the rear end. Um, didn't have to do anything else. Um, Try to keep all my markings. There's markings I found that I kept. Um, there's tags, um, all kinds of tags I found. Of course, other tags I found that were falling off. I had to take off and I put in the bags. And labeled them. Uh, that's it. And I try to, you know, try to keep everything as as good as, like, as original as it could have been. You know, with the pulleys and everything, the correct color, uh, the correct black and everything. You know, or whatever. Um, you know, like this here now. See, like this here. I just clear coated that. I kind of, I'm thinking like I might need to take that off. This here, just the top, just comes off too. I think. I think I'm not 100%. Oh, sorry, I'm not even pointing to what. This here, I might take. Uh, I think the top just comes off. I have to look and see, but I need to clean that up a little bit more. That the EGR, I wanted to, but I don't want to because I know what color it's going to end up turning it more of a silver color, and I don't want. I don't want. Want to, I want that uh, goldish and a dyes and whatever look it looks looks like. But anyway, uh, thanks for viewing the video, and um, hope you like it. It's just a short one, but hope you guys like it. You all have a good one.